Greg Hellman, a name that still resonates in the world of baseball, was more than just a player. Born and raised in the Netherlands, Hellman was a shining star in both his home country and in the United States. Known for his exceptional skills as an outfielder, Hellman played for the Seattle Mariners during the 2010 and 2011 seasons. His talent wasn't confined to the shores of America. He also showcased his prowess internationally with the Dutch national team, in the 2009 World Baseball Classic. The world was left shocked when the news broke out of Halman's untimely death, and he was tragically found with fatal stab wounds in Rotterdam just after the conclusion of the 2011 MLB season. The incident took a more chilling turn when his brother was arrested in connection to the stabbing, adding a somber layer to an already tragic story. And in a shocking twist that nobody saw coming, his brother was later acquitted on the grounds of temporary insanity. Rodney Paul Craig, a native of Los Angeles, left an indelible mark in the Major League Baseball world during his four-season career. His prowess on the field was evident during his stints with the Seattle Mariners from 1979 to 1980, and later with the Cleveland Indians in 1982. He put on his final performance for the Chicago White Sox in 1986. However, Rodney's life took a turn for the worse, and in 2013, he was brutally stabbed to death at a homeless encampment in Los Angeles, cutting short the life of a once promising athlete who fell on hard times. Robert Baird, a towering figure in the world of American baseball, was not just known for his impressive height of six feet four inches, but also for his left-handed pitching skills. Hailing from Knoxville, Tennessee, Baird made his mark in Major League Baseball with the Washington Senators during the 1962 and 1963 seasons. After retiring from baseball, Baird embarked on a new path as a traveling salesman for a Cincinnati-based company. This brought him into contact with people from all walks of life and allowed him to see more of America than he ever did on the baseball circuit. Yet, Baird's life took a tragic turn when he was shot by a jilted lover at the young age of 34. He succumbed to his injuries nine days later in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Lyman Bostock, an American professional baseball player, was a rising star in the Major League Baseball scene. With a remarkable talent for the sport, he carved out a solid career for himself within a short span of four seasons. Bostock played as an outfielder for the Minnesota Twins and California Angels, winning hearts with his powerful performances and innate love for the game. However, his life took a tragic turn on September 23, 1978. Bostock had just wrapped up a game against the Chicago White Sox and was back in his hometown of Gary, Indiana, when the unthinkable happened. As a passenger in a vehicle, he was shot and killed. Apparently, he was not the intended victim. The day that had started with cheers and applause on the baseball field ended in an unimaginable tragedy. The incident sent shockwaves through the fans and his teammates alike. The shooter was the husband of a woman who was also in the vehicle with Bostock. Believing she was having an affair, he intended on shooting his wife. However, Lyman Bostock would be the one to die that fateful day. His shooter was sentenced to a psychiatric hospital, but was released after just seven months, adding another layer of controversy to this tragic tale. Bostock's untimely demise robbed the world of baseball of an immensely talented player and left a void that would never be filled. Sam Perilla, a name that echoes in the corridors of Major League Baseball, was a Puerto Rican professional baseball left fielder and pinch hitter. Known for his exceptional skills on the field, Perilla played for the Philadelphia Phillies, leaving his mark in the world of sports. Tragically, a fatal encounter with a 15-year-old boy following an auto accident resulted in Perilla being shot and killed, sending shockwaves throughout the baseball community. Despite this tragic end, Perilla's legacy continues through his daughter, Lana Perilla. Lana found success in the world of acting. She rose to prominence as the star of the enchanting ABC fairy tale drama series, Once Upon a Time. Just as her father commanded the baseball field, Lana commands the screen with her captivating performances. 
Ivan Calderon, affectionately known as Ivan the Terrible, was not just a name in the baseball fraternity, but a legacy. A Puerto Rican by birth, Calderon proudly represented his country in Major League Baseball from 1984 to 1993. He was more than just a player. He was the embodiment of passion and dedication to the sport. His peak came in 1991 when he was recognized as an all-star, rightfully earning his spot among the best in the game. However, Calderon's life took a tragic turn on December 27, 2003. He was brutally shot multiple times in the back at point-blank range while unwinding at a bar in Louisa, Puerto Rico, a chilling act of violence that left the baseball world and his fans in utter shock. The incident wasn't just horrifying, but also shrouded in mystery. To this day, Calderon's murder remains unsolved, leaving a lingering sense of injustice. A tragedy struck the world of Major League Baseball when John Barfield, a former pitcher for the Texas Rangers, fell victim to a deadly dispute. Barfield, who showcased his exceptional talent on the baseball field from 1989 to 1991, lived a life that was abruptly halted in its tracks. The incident occurred at his apartment situated in the heart of bustling downtown Little Rock, Arkansas on Christmas Eve 2016. The dispute escalated quickly, and before anyone could intervene, Barfield was shot. He was immediately rushed to a hospital, but despite the best efforts of the medical team, Barfield succumbed during surgery. The assailant turned out to be William Goodman, a 59-year-old man who was known to Barfield. The motive appears to be rooted in personal issues, as Goodman was the estranged husband of Barfield's girlfriend, Mystic Goodman. Goodman was promptly apprehended and charged with first-degree murder. Howard Fox was more than just a pitcher. He was a titan of American Major League Baseball, who brought his talent to bear for the Cincinnati Reds, Philadelphia Phillies, and Baltimore Orioles. His career spanned for an impressive nine seasons from 1944 to 1954, endearing him to fans and fellow players alike. However, Following his illustrious baseball career, Fox's life took a dramatic turn. In 1955, Fox embarked on a new venture, purchasing a tavern in San Antonio. It was at this establishment that his life would be tragically cut short. One fateful October night, Fox found himself in a confrontation with three men at his bar. In the ensuing struggle, he was stabbed three times. In a heartbreaking turn of events, Fox succumbed to his injuries. The aftermath was as swift as it was, justice bound. A San Antonio College student, John Strickland, was arrested and charged with Fox's murder, while the other two assailants were slapped with assault charges. The tragic end of Howard Fox serves as a stark reminder of how quickly life can change, even for those who once stood on the pinnacle of sports fame. Daryl Hamilton was a revered figure in the world of American professional baseball, who graced the Major League Baseball scene from 1988 to 2001. His prowess as an outfielder was unmatched, and he carried himself with a level of dignity and professionalism that garnered him respect both on and off the field. However, Hamilton's life took a tragic turn on June 21, 2015. At around 4.45 p.m., the 50-year-old was fatally shot the assailant, his girlfriend, Monica Jordan. A streak of violence had shown itself in Jordan's past. She had previously pleaded guilty to felony arson in 2008, a consequence of a 2006 incident when she set ablaze the house she shared with her then-husband, Rohaven Richards. The incident was sparked by Jordan's suspicion that Richards was being unfaithful to her. In a grim echo of her past, Jordan's suspicion of infidelity seemingly resurfaced in her relationship with Hamilton leading to another tragic event. The life of Daryl Hamilton, a celebrated athlete, ended in an unexpected and horrifying way, leaving the baseball community in mourning. Arthur Lawrence Raymond, nicknamed Bugs, was a figure who painted the Major League Baseball scene with his larger-than-life persona from 1904 to 1911. A skilled pitcher, Raymond's career saw him playing for three of the most renowned teams in American baseball, the Detroit Tigers, St. Louis Cardinals, and New York Giants. His prowess on the pitch is still remembered and celebrated by baseball enthusiasts around the globe. However, 
Raymond's life took a tragic turn in 1912. After a short stint with the Cincinnati Pippins of the short-lived United States League, he found himself embroiled in a nasty fight in Chicago. The altercation left him severely injured and led to one of the most shocking incidents in baseball history. Raymond succumbed to a fractured skull just a few weeks later at the tender age of 30. His untimely death sent shockwaves through the baseball world, casting a somber shadow over the sport in a twist that only added to the tragedy. No one was ever charged for his death, leaving an air of mystery and injustice surrounding the untimely demise of this hard-nosed, heavy-drinking baseball star. Thank you.